It is time to go racing in the USA. The Formula One World Championship is back in Miami. This is round six in 2024. The build-up has been big. It's been intense in the Sunshine State. Our grid has been saturated with celebs, but now the main event, the reason we're all here, it's race day in America, and we are all set to do battle across 57 laps of this circuit. It is 5.4 kilometers, 3.3 miles. Good afternoon and welcome to the Miami Grand Prix. We'll be fighting it out around 19 turns of this circuit. The elevation is only three meters, but we have a stadium in the middle. We have 19 corners for the drivers to negotiate. We have the C4, the C3, and the C2 tires out there as well. Who? starts with what is going to get answered in a few moments time well we have a look at the starting grid now for the sixth grand prix of the year daniel ricardo with a three-place penalty for overtaking under the safety car in china joe guan yu is 19th as kevin magnuson lines up in 18th hoping for a slightly more a uh, calm race, I imagine, compared to the sprint before. The home hero, born less than 20 miles away, is Logan Sargent. He's 17th, and it's Bottas and Fernando Alonso with his worst start of the season. Alex Albon has gone out in Q2 at every single Grand Prix so far this year. He is 14th. Esteban Ocon is 13th on the grid. He's behind his teammate for the first time this season. Gasly is 12th, Lance Stroll is 11th, the lead Aston Martin, for his second Grand Prix this year. Yuki Tsunoda is in 10th place, Nico Hulkenberg, P9, then Mercedes line up with Lewis Hamilton behind George Russell once again in Formula One 2024. Oscar Piastri is behind his teammate, Lando Norris, sixth and fifth. And we have everyone then moving through the order with Sergio Perez in fourth, Carlos Sainz in third position. And then on the front row of the grid, Charles Leclerc in second place. Max Verstappen taking his seventh pole position in a row. The moment is nearly here. And the Miami Grand Prix is underway. Oh, he was nearly hit by his teammate. That was so close. Sergio Perez went to the inside. He momentarily took second, but he went deep into the first turn. And that very nearly was contact between the two Red Bulls. They got away with it, though. But Perez was millimeters away from striking his teammate, went to the inside line of that first turn. No grip, dirty, dusty, and he very nearly made contact. They got away with it. Yeah, it looks like he's got... Uh... Oh, thinking about the move, diving to the inside. Leclerc trying to be respectful. Well, it was after you or after you. They didn't want to make contact. They didn't make contact. That is Hamilton making the move and getting past Hulkenberg up to seventh place. And now Hulkenberg's back in front. Yeah, Hulkenberg occupying seventh position. Dipped out of the slipstream, went back in again. Now to the inside of turn 11. And Lewis Hamilton gets that pass done. I hit that cone. In 15, take the front lead. Race leader with a swap on, trying to take avoiding action. We've got Esteban Ocon making moves as well. Alpine searching for their first points of the year. Heading to turn number one. And the Mercedes of George Russell gets past Esteban Ocon. That's for 11th place. Off the road goes Kevin Magnussen and looking at our driver tracker, Logan Sargent might be there as well. The home favorite, the full safety car is out. Lando Norris is gonna get the benefit. You only lose nine seconds under the safety car. He's got 11 to Max Verstappen. Logan defends the inside. Oof. And I don't think Logan knew he was there. It is a huge moment in the race as well because it's brought out the safety car. Norris this time does come in to the pits, goes on to the hard tyres, and Lando Norris is going to venture. But Carlos Sainz trying to go the long way round and claim fourth place, but it's elbow thrown by Oscar Piastri. Big opportunity to the inside for Carlos Sainz, who gets by at last, and that was really squirming all over the road. He's deep into the corner, and it invites Sainz. Perez trying to take it away. Perez squeezes the driver. One gets by. Now there's a second as well. It's a landmark day for Lando. Lando Norris wins for the first time in Formula One. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh. 
Oh, about I love you all. I love you all. Thank you so much. We did it, Will! We did it! P1 at the end of 57 laps. Fifth on the grid to first at the flag. A leap forward in more ways than one. Well, what an incredible weekend it has been here in Miami. We've given you a brand new Grand Prix winner. Lando Norris has won the Miami Grand Prix. Thanks for your company, wherever you watched. It's incredible. I don't know what I'm going to say. I just want to smile the rest of the day. Um, yeah, it's an, it's an amazing feeling seeing everyone applauding and cheering and seeing the whole team there, so happy. Uh, I've let them down a few times, but I think today makes up for every moment that we've had together. The ups and downs, today overtakes everything by a country mile. So just happiness and uh, having spreading that happiness and, and kind of spreading it with my whole team, with McLaren. That's something I've dreamed of doing for a long time. And uh, today I managed to do it. So I don't know, it's hard to describe like what it is. Like as much as I think of so many things, I also just empty like I'm lost I don't know what I'm gonna say so just happy just uh, I'm just gonna smile and not talk that's it the pace was just not really there like I was pulling away but it was just marginal you know so it wasn't particularly good but then on the hard tire it really uh, took a step back where of course on a harder compound you have a little bit lower mechanical grip and that then tipped it over the edge where yeah we didn't seem to have a lot of grip I think we did a great job with the situation we found ourselves in we cannot control when a safety car is going to come out. We stopped maybe a little bit too early, but I'm sure there are reasons. I didn't have time yet to speak with the team to understand the reasons why we stopped early. Um, that puts us a lot on the back foot because then with the safety car, everyone was packed again and I was in the middle with much more used tires uh, compared to everybody else, but we did a great job managing that. The start, we were very lucky to got out with Carlos, Checo and myself without any damage because I think Checo was a bit too optimistic there. King steps forward, a bit unfortunate with the safety car timing, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of unraveled from there. Um, so, yeah, obviously a, a really good day for the, for the team. They deserve to have both cars up there. Um, but, yeah, a really encouraging day in terms of the pace and obviously to, to get a win on, on pace. A little bit of good fortune involved, but uh, you know, Lando had the pace after, which I think is incredibly encouraging. Um, so yeah, overall, not a good day again. So um, hopefully, uh, I can get some clarity on uh, on things uh, going forward. And uh, yeah, what happened today, uh, of course, it's it's not good. Um, nonetheless, we move on and try to uh, have a better weekend next weekend. I don't have a lot to say um, other than that it's a very disappointing way to end, um, end my home race weekend but nonetheless it's been a positive weekend and I have to take those positives. I feel like generally been able to, to get almost everything out of it this weekend, little bits to find but um, yeah just have to take those, draw a line under it, move on.